Tough questions in court today for an expert who suggests that a teenager shocked and restrained for hours was treated appropriately. Psychiatrist Lloyd Price, testifying on behalf of the Judge Rotenberg Center, tried to portray Andre McCollum's as a violent and angry young man who needed to be restrained. He did not appear to me to be scared or frightened. In fact, he had some periods of calm. So the way I see this is that he was angry, and part of the way he showed that was by being oppositional. But under cross-examination by McCollum's lawyer, the psychiatrist had to admit that the 31 shocks McCollum's received in the classroom that day in 2002 were not helping. Well, it's not working when he gets shocked up to 30, right? Correct. How about 29? Is it working then? Well, if it's not working at 30, it's clearly not working at 29. How about 28? Same answer. 25. Was that 5 between 25 and 30? Were those working for him? No. How about 20 to 30? Were those shocks working? None of the shock treatments, singly or in totality, appeared to be changing the behavior. Also testifying today was the Judge Rotenberg Center's founder and former executive director, Dr. Matthew Israel. This case is wrapping up. It's expected to go to the jury on Monday.